Hey, what's going on guys? It's Bunsty here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to take your stock footage like this. And I don't think that Hale is a very good one. Oh my God. And how to transform it into something a little bit more like this. So to do this, we're gonna need two things. We're gonna need the demo file from that match and we're gonna need a program called Half-Life After Effects. The demo file is what saves the match and what we use to replay it back to us. And HLAE is the tool that we use to get the third person camera angles. Today, we're gonna to be using both of these at the same time to get these recordings. So by default, demo files do not automatically get recorded. So unfortunately, if you have hit something that you would like to get a replay for, you will not be able to um, record it. Demo files can manually be recorded by typing record file name into the console upon joining a match. And stop at the end. However, we don't want to be doing this every time we join a game. It's way too tedious and I don't want to be thinking of a name every single time. So fortunately, we can use a config file to automate the process for us. In the description, I've linked this file that I use to automatically record every match that I join into. So the way this file works is upon joining a server, it's going to automatically begin recording a demo file. And when the server ends via you leaving or the map changing, it's going to automatically delete the demo file. So what if I wanted to save? Let's say you're playing and you do something cool that you want to save. In the config, I have it set that upon pressing the up arrow, the demo file is saved. Now when the match ends, a demo file will be saved in my demos folder and a notepad will generate with the tick at which I pressed up arrow. This tick value is important because it helps us navigate through the demo to where the clip occurred. Sometimes you can accidentally bump your save key. For this reason, I tend to press the key about five times whenever I hit a clip. So that way, when I'm looking through my files, I know which is intentional and which was by mistake. Speaking of ticks, a demo file will only grow larger as the round goes on for longer and longer. You don't want to work with a big demo file. You can only traverse through ticks forward, not backwards, meaning that every time you want to re-record something, you have to traverse through the file again. And if the demo file is massive, you're going to be spending a lot of time. Demo files also have a tendency to corrupt as they get larger and larger. For this reason, within the config, I have a bind that will reset the demo file recording whenever you like by pressing down arrow. I get into a habit of pressing this whenever I die. Trust me, you will love working with small demo files. This is a good thing to remember if you're playing five hours of Hightower straight. Okay, so now we have our demo file and our tick. We now need HLA working. You'll want to head over to the Advanced FX website, which I've got linked in the description. Get the latest release of HLAE. It's going to take you to a GitHub page and just install the .zip file. As far as I know, you don't need the HLAE setup, um, but if you have problems, maybe consider getting it. So once you've installed that zip file, um, extract it. And once you're in the folder, navigate to the HLAE execu executive file and um, your antivirus may trick you up. Just make sure you make an exception and try to run the program. Okay, great. So now hopefully HLAE will open. You're then gonna wanna click on tools, then go to custom loader. Now this part is pretty important. Now after the 64-bit update, a few things um, have to be changed because HLAE likes to work with 32-bit. In the program path, make sure it's reading tf.exe if you don't have this in your TF folder, copy your HL2 file and rename it to TF. Um, these two lines are pretty important. And for the command line, I use this, which works for me. It's really important that you have the force 32 bit in there and things like insecure and steam should be there by default. DX level and your resolution, you can change as you wish. But yeah, the, the key thing is the force 32 bit. One other thing that I like to do is if I want to record my gameplay in higher graphics, I will switch out my low master config uh, VPK for a high VPK. If you're not using master config, then you're going to have to manually change them. Okay, so when that's all good to go, hit OK and it should launch TF2. Okay, so now navigate to your demo folder and find the demo file that you're interested in viewing. 
open the JSON file as a notepad and take out the tick that you're interested in. Drag that demo file into your TF folder and now head back over to TF2. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up console by pressing tilde and we're going to type play demo and then the name of the demo file and then hit enter. Now guys, when we opened up the notepad file, it told us the tick at which we clipped the frag. So this tick is after the clip occurred, whereas we want to begin beforehand. Now, every time is going to be a little bit different, but for this case, I'm going to take off about 1500 to 2000 ticks from what the notepad said. Now the notepad said 3000 ticks, I'm going to bring it all the way back to 500. Okay, so just remember to go back a couple thousand ticks. And uh, once you have your tick, you want to type into console demo underscore go to tick the number to get to that point. Now, when it's our first time watching through the demo file, I like to just watch and make sure that it's actually what I thought I clipped. So uh, let's watch this clip together. Oh, he's going to get that soldier. Damn, and the heavy too. No way. The sniper, oh, he never stood a chance. Don't tell me he gets the medic as well. Holy, and the engineer. Oh my God. I'm starting to think there's nothing this guy can, um, can do. <laughs> Not the pyro, bro. Not the pyro. Surely that's it. Surely that's it. Surely, oh, one more for the road. Boom, bang a clip. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, great. The clip is as I remembered. However, you may have noticed that on that medic stab, the backstab animation doesn't properly render or play. As far as I know, there's no easy way to fix this. You might, in fact, have to paste over your own backstab animation. But um, that is just one of the many little problems that comes with demo files. But the good news is the clip is there and we're ready to work with it. Okay, great. So now we're gonna do demo underscore go to tick and go back to before the clip started. Guys, another super helpful command that I forgot to mention is demo underscore toggle pause. I recommend binding that to a key. It's gonna let you just uh, play and pause the demo file as you like. This is really good for putting in commands and positioning cameras. All right, so let's begin by using a basic third person static camera angle. So to do this, we're gonna turn on SV Cheats 1 and I personally like to turn off all HUD elements. I don't think that they look good in third person. All right, so once you've done that, we're gonna type into console merv underscore input camera. Now this will let us gain control in a third person way and we can position the camera wherever we like. Now the camera speed is dictated by the plus and minus key on your numpad. I do not know the command um, in console, but I just know that you can press plus and minus. So fly around to wherever you want, and to move up and down, you press R and F. Once you've got your camera positioned where you like, we're gonna just watch the clip by pressing demo underscore toggle pause again to make it play, and we're just gonna see if we like it. Okay, cool. So now we know how to play static camera angles wherever we like. For the next part, I will show you how to make smooths. Now, I'm not good at making nice smooths, but I know the commands to make it work. So I will show you how I do it. So once again, type demo underscore go to tick, your tick, and just pause it for the meantime. Drop the speed down to about 0.2 in console using host underscore timescale 0.2. Host underscore timescale is another really good command, by the way. Um, and type merv underscore cam path add. This will mark your starting position for the smooth. Hit play and move around as you like. Place cam path sparingly with that command. The more you place and the more you turn your position, the more the smooth will swing, which doesn't look that nice. Once you've placed your cam path points, type merv underscore cam path enabled one and go back to your tick. Make sure third person is enabled and watch through it. By the way, for all third person clips, make sure you've typed third person. If you're in third person, but the game thinks you're in first person, all you'll see is the spy's arms. Um, so, and if you're not happy with the with the smooth that you've just made, type merv underscore cam path clear to read, to just clear it all. 
Um, like I said before, I'm not an expert with smooths. I'm gonna link the HLA Discord server. You can ask them specific questions. Okay guys, so now I've shown you how to get free cam static angles. You gain free cam with Merv underscore input camera, all right? And if you wanna make a smooth, use Merv underscore cam path add. Um, remember things like SV cheats and third person, you really just got to mess around with it to get the feel for it. Now, when you're done with a demo file, it's really good to get into the habit of naming it properly. I like to do um, map name, the type of clip, and then the tick. Whenever I'm thinking about a clip that I want to go and record, I can always remember the map. So I feel like having the map in the name is really important. Um, as you've seen before, I <laughs> don't rename all of mine. I should, but yeah, do it. Okay, guys, um, thank you for watching. I believe I covered the basics. I really just wanted to show you how to automatically record your demo files, save them, and then just navigate them with the ticks. Um, hopefully, you can get HLA working and use those basic third-person uh, angles. I know people over on Instagram have been wondering, so this is mainly for you guys, but thank you for watching. If you got questions, leave them in the comments, and... Uh, I stream on Twitch, so go check it out, and I have a Discord server. Anyway, guys, peace out, Bunsty out.